Hi, we're Darby and Ro, and Cosmo. We're currently travelling Australia in our self-converted van. We upload videos every week about our travels and the ups and downs of living in a van. This is what we got up to this week. about an hour into WA. Cosmo spotted some bulls just outside the van door. Oh my god, I hope they don't go too close. Cosmo just wants to play with every animal. I'm actually kind of scared. Is it gonna like ram? Oh my god. What do we do? Don't bark at him, bud. He's so much bigger than you. Oh, maybe not too close. Do you want to come back this way? Please don't pat the bull. Oh, excuse me, I was here first. We're just updating our scratch map because we are now over here and we've come all this way. I'm just gonna update you guys on what this situation is. So, we passed this really little town, well it was just a servo, and the diesel, the diesel was $2.70 per litre, and so we thought, mm, a little bit expensive, and we've got a quarter of a tank to make it to Halls Creek, which was 160 k's away. And we thought we could make it, but we are now 30 k's away, the petrol light's been on for about 20 minutes, and we're starting to freak out a little bit. There's a guy in front of us that has like four jerry cans of what we think might be diesel. So we kind of want to flash our lights at him and say, hi, can you pull over? We are very, very low on diesel. So it's a bit stressful here. Anything you have to say? <laughs> Any apologies maybe perhaps? My, maybe my maths was wrong. I forgot to carry the one. <laughs> Very stressful in this van at the moment. We're very close to the town, but these people in front of us keep slowing down and we're going up all these hills. We just want the momentum. How are you feeling? Sweating. <laughs> Sweating. How are you feeling, Cosmo? Are you feeling stressed? He's never felt an ounce of stress in his life. We made it! Oh, oh god, that was stressful. That was so stressful. Doubt it for a second. Didn't doubt myself for a second. I knew we'd make it. I knew we'd make it. Oh mates, jerry cans were empty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
No, the red because he's at the green. survey. What are the... Oh, the other ones are for water. Just quickly, there is another petrol station in this town that's 237, but we're not sure when we can make it there. So we're just going to fill up at the same price that we tried to avoid before. So yeah, not ideal. We just woke up this morning and found out that the two guys next to us had their car stolen last night. Like they slept in two tents behind their car last night and their car just got stolen in the middle of the night. We didn't hear anything, they didn't hear anything. So they've called the police this morning, but how crazy. When I was checking in, the lady who runs the caravan park said like, make sure you lock everything away. Like make sure there's no valuables inside because people around here are very opportunistic and they like obviously steal things from people on holidays. So yeah, that's so crazy that their whole car got stolen. Imagine that, they're six months into their one year trip. That's absolutely devastating. So we've just read the reviews for this caravan park and realized we should not have stayed here. The crime in this town is like 100%. Let me show you some of the reviews. So they had two tents and a white ute and someone came in the middle of the night and stole their ute. They literally like slashed their tents with knives, grabbed the keys and took their car. It was absolutely bizarre. Can't believe that happened like a meter away from us and we didn't even hear it. And they didn't even hear it. They didn't even wake up when the tent, oh, anyway. I just still trying to wrap my head around it. And another guy that was at the campsite has been driving around all morning looking for the car and he found their bags and like all their belongings thrown onto like the side of the road so the people that stole it probably just wanted the car and luckily they found like their passport their wallet everything like that so could have been much worse for them but they had only just bought this car like a week ago and yeah absolutely sucks to be them but could have been worse could have been us could have been us yeah but we've read reviews like i just put up on the screen before those reviews and I can't believe we didn't read them coming here. I read reviews for every single place we stay and <laughs> the one time I don't read them, that was 100% my fault and we will always be reading the reviews from now on because that is scary. That is the end of the story time. Are you ready to go, bud? Ready. Ready. stopped in at this rest area because this is probably the biggest tree we've ever seen. <laughs> it is massive and we're about three hours or two and a half hours away from Broome. Currently on Nikina and Mangala country. I'm probably butchering those names, but it's pretty cool to hear the Aboriginal names of all these places we go to. Cosmo's up here with me because the drone's out, but next week we will be in Broome, which is so exciting. We watch the sunset over the ocean, which is really, really cool. And we go to this amazing place. I'll put a little sneak peek in here because, oh, it just, it was probably the coolest place I've ever been to. 
so stay tuned for that one. We also did a big cleanup of the van and we filmed a van tour which will be coming soon as well so stay tuned for that. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye! Good Marcy! Bye! Also, this is him now. He's literally cuddling me because he hates the drone. Okay, bye. See you next week.